Welcome to the channel. I'm Charlie from Sanu Motors. Today I have a 2019 BMW 1 Series M Sport model. Also, if you not still subscribe our channel, please do it now and press bell icon then you can get our new videos. If you have any question, comments, please mention below. I'll come back to you as soon as possible. Customer came to me and say, Charlie, look, uh, brake warning light on. He suspects it's a brake pad, but he don't know actually what's going on there. I'm going to take a good opportunity for this matter and uh, show you how to check your brake pads your own you can check by three step first visually you can check and second step you can check on board computer what it's saying or you can use it like a scan computer like this and you can check how condition of your brake pad i am going to show you first step visually how to check the brake pads you need a like this one i'm joking this is for me to point you brake pads but definitely you need a bright light to check brake pads you can see from here this is the brake pad you can see inside this is the inside section pad this out section this is the metal section forget the metal section you have to check in between disc and this metal bit in between the eyes you can see pad section this is the pad section it's very very low you can see as it is i can enlarge a little bit see it's very low that's mean definitely front brake pad need to be changed also i'm going to the rear brake pad now rear brake pads you can see This the metal bit, this the this in between this and metal pad in between you can see sorry earlier. This is the one this is the one the pad this one also low when I compare with the front brake pad it's not much low but however better to change it now otherwise if we touch with the disc metal to metal then this going to destroy then after that you ending with changing disc and pad if you're going to change disc and pad it's going to be more cost better to do it now rather than take a chance that's mean visually i can I had to check other two tires also well same time but at the moment visually I can say this car need to be changed front and rear brake pad and sensor next step I'm going to show you how to check with onboard computer first need to ignition on now it's ignition on Then after that, this is the main menu. You can press menu. When you press menu, this coming to the this screen. Then you have to turn this one until vehicle status. Right. Once it come to the vehicle status, you have to press this one once you press it once it's coming to the next mode 
when after that you need to select from this side this vehicle icon just tap this side to it's going that way now it's coming to the this section then after that you have to turn this knob until to the vehicle it's going back turn 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 then press enter press down that's when it's enter see you can see as it is it's need to do front brake pads rear brake pads at the moment okay at the engine oil brake fluid everything okay this is the second step we'll go for a next step or third step using computer like this computer and find out what's the computer going to say third step connect the computer ignition on then need to follow the computer instructions automatic id press yes continue one series f2021 1.6 diesel okay then after that need to go to the service menu it's depend on your computer this is the snap on modus ultra computer but if you're using another computer it might be changed the things but follow the computer instruction service interval reset collecting data you can see as it is when you go into the this menu you can see engine oil 61% front brake pad 0% visually i said uh, rear brake pad you have a more life it's 4% left there however brake fluid if you have a like this computer computer also say what you need to do basically you need to change front brake pads and uh, rear brake pad 4% left because of that I'm going to do front and rear brake pads. If your vehicle has a this light on, you can see as it is the dashboard say brake system drive moderately. That means something not right in the brake. We know exactly what's going on here. Then I'm going to change front and rear brake pads. Please follow this link for changing front brake pads. Yeah, that's the way you have to check the brake pad. If you have a like this problem, you don't want to go to the garage or mechanic. If you don't have a computer, don't worry. You can check with onboard computer or you can check visually. You know now what to do thanks for watching i'm charlie from sanu motors if you not still subscribe our channel please do it now also press bell icon then you can get our new videos if you have any question comments please mention below i'll come back to you as soon as possible see you with another video thank you